What is up my friends? You are very welcome along to today's Anfield Agenda News Roundup. Today I'm going to be focusing on four main subjects, or four players really. We're going to be speaking about Jamal Musiala, Victor Oshimind, Ezekiel Fernandez of Boca Juniors, and we're also going to be speaking about Andre Trinidad as well. But because it is Monday, I just want to draw your attention to the screen. Bottom right hand corner, it's Monday which means it is Oosh Day here on Anfield Agenda. Our friends at Oosh have got an amazing giveaway for you this week, but before I let you know about it, I just want to show you a couple of recent winners. We gave these gentlemen two tickets to the Merseyside Derby. They were at our live show in Dublin. We did a draw on the night. We did a quiz on the night, actually, and they won. And as you can see, they attended cop with cop tickets for the Merseyside Derby recently where Liverpool beat Everton by two goals to nil. And it's always good to show you guys that there are real-world winners of these draws. So, Oosh this week have an unbelievable giveaway. Fancy going to see Liverpool and Manchester City on the 9th of March at Anfield? Well, our friends at Oosh can make that happen for you. Not only are they normal tickets, no, 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 no. They're Carlsberg Hospitality tickets. So, you could win two tickets to see Liverpool and Manchester City in the Carlsberg Hospitality dugout. You would also get one night's accommodation, the IH. HG Hotel Liverpool City Centre and €300 Euro in Ryanair vouchers if you so want them. If you don't want them, you can have a €300 Euro cash alternative. And to enter this fantastic competition, it is a mere €18, Euro, but for you guys, it isn't €18. Euro. You get 10% off with our Anfield Agenda Oosh discount AA10. You can scan the QR code in the bottom corner of the screen to get yourself directly over to Oosh. And remember, AA10 will get you 10% off not just this draw, but any draw that takes your fancy on the Oosh website. So thank you to our friends at Oosh, the home of giveaways. Look, loads to get through tonight, my friends. We'll firstly have a little talk about Jamal Musiala. You've seen lots of stuff over the past week to say that Liverpool have been linked with a move for the Bayern Munich midfielder. I've said to you guys many times, I don't think it's realistic at all. And Florian Plettenberg today has come out and said that basically there's only two clubs who are realistic destinations for Jamal Musiala if indeed he does leave Bayern Munich. Club number one, Real Madrid. Club number two, Manchester City. So... Look, that makes sense for a whole host of reasons. Manchester City, as we know, have the money to make anything possible. And Real Madrid, look, they've already brought Jude Bellingham in there. And if they have Camavinga, Schuermeni, and they want to just rebuild the world's best midfield, well, let's be honest, that's what it would be if they brought in Musiala uh, alongside. Then, look, that's possible as well. So we can put that one to bed, I hope, and move on to Victor Oshuman. So we've seen lots of reports coming out of Italy over the past week to state that Liverpool have come to an agreement with Victor Oshuman. Oshuman's agent about a proposed move. Now, the deal was, of course, just with regards to wages and stuff, but Fabrizio Romano, who, of course, has his pulse on, or finger on the pulse of all things Italian football, did a stream last night where he said that, as far as he's aware, there is absolutely no agreement in place between Liverpool and Victor Oshuman, despite the reports coming out from Naples saying that that agreement is there. So, we, of course, would bow down to Fabrizio's information on this one because, as I mentioned, he is all things Spanish, or all things Italian football. Very, very much, uh, yeah, very much invested into all things Italian football. So he would have a far greater reading of the situation than we would. And uh, but he does say that Liverpool are interested. So look, we're probably not the only club. I'm sure there are clubs all around Europe that are interested in Victor Oshuman. But maybe it's one to just keep an eye on. But for just now, we can confirm that there is no agreement. But a fresh news came to a fresh piece of news came to uh, my attention today. So apparently the Reds are reportedly ready to battle for Ezekiel Fernandez. This report says Liverpool are reportedly one of three teams interested in signing Boca Juniors midfielder Ezekiel Fernandez. HITC say that Alexis McAllister is a huge fan of his compatriot and delivered a glowing reference when asked if he would recommend Fernandez to his former club Brighton and Hull Valbian last campaign. He said, "If you ask me a little more about my." style he's a player that I really like that is Ezequiel Fernandez he's a player who has all the conditions to reach Europe one day and I hope that can happen he's a player I like a lot he understands the game he's prepared to receive the ball plays with both legs can play as a five as an inside player he's a player who certainly has good conditions so look he's saying he's good enough we probably do need another midfielder. Is it going to be Ezequiel Fernandez? I don't know. They go on to speak about the fact that he's 21 years of age. AC Milan, Benfica are also credited with interest in the player. Look, we should be looking at South America. We should be looking at Brazil and Argentina and other parts of the world to try and find solutions. Because let's be honest, a lot of the time, these deals are a lot more financially viable than Premier League moves or Europe to Europe moves. So for me, no problem. Let's have a look at Ezekiel Fernandez. Let's keep an eye on the situation. 
I'm not going to try and gauge whether this is possible or not, if it's likely or not. I'm just reporting to you guys that it's a story that was brought up today. And I'm going to finish up today with the main topic of the day, which is, of course, Andre Trinidad. So Liverpool are said to be locked in a battle with Arsenal, according to various reports. The numbers that I've seen mentioned recently seem to have gone up a little bit. And I don't know if this is potentially Fluminense feeling a little bit emboldened because there are now two clubs at the table looking for Andre. They've mentioned £35 million at this point, which is about what? In euros, 42, 43 million euro, which, you know, it's it's significantly higher. It's about 10 million pound higher than the numbers that we were speaking about. And again, I don't know if this is going to be a realistic number that the clubs will be forced to pay or if it's just media hype trying to get a bit of a battle going, trying to get of a bidding process. Now, let's look at this objectively. If you're him, you're going to look at the situation and think, right, Liverpool, Arsenal, two Premier League clubs, two Premier League clubs that are most likely going to be fighting for the title this season along with Manchester City. Which one prefers the uh, which one would he prefer the idea of going to? I think we have the edge, and this is why I think we have the edge. Remember when I've mentioned this previously, Chelsea and Caicedo, they've spoken a lot about the fact that, or Caicedo's representatives, the fact that they worked long and hard to get Caicedo in, and they never dropped their interest in him, and they made it be known that they were going to be there until the very end, and they got their man. We've done something similar here with Andre. We were respectful of Fluminense's wishes not to go in and, you know, try and prize him away during the summer window. They had plans to try to win the Copa Libertadores and fair play to them. They've made the final where they'll take on Boca Juniors. So we've done our part in that regard. We didn't push it. We didn't disturb them. And I think that gives us an advantage both for negotiations and, of course, for charming of the player. Look, Arsenal are a good package, and if they move on Thomas Partey, you can see how there would be a space in their squad. But I just think if you're him and you look at it right now, which of the two teams really needs them? If you're him, where are you going to go in and establish yourself quicker? I would suggest that the answer is absolutely Liverpool, because we are still crying out for a defensive midfielder or a number six. Endo, it's still up in the air whether that works. By Chechic still hasn't returned from his calf problem. So I favour us in this race. And I'm not going to disparage Arsenal or talk down about them. But I think the hard work that we've put in previously will see us win this race if indeed it becomes a race. I mean, the January window is going to be very interesting for a whole number of reasons. Will we bring in a centre-back? Will we bring in a full-back? Or are we going to just maybe do nothing and wait for the summer? I have a feeling we'll go in for Andre. I do. I think we'll get this one done. I mentioned to you guys previously about Fluminense fan accounts from Brazil saying they believe it's probably 80% likely that he joins Liverpool. So, with that in mind, that brings me to the end of tonight's news video. As always, we'd love to know your thoughts in the comments section. Do drop Drop a like on the video and if you haven't hit that subscribe button, you know what we'd love you to do. Don't forget to check out our giveaway this week with Oosh or their giveaway I should say. Get yourself over to Oosh.com by scanning the QR code in the bottom corner. And remember AA10 is your discount code for 10% off. Much love my friends. I'll catch up with you soon. Bye bye.